Hitler. <laughs> no, come uh, back. Damn. Okay. I cast you out of sync platforms. Uh, must Just not lacking oxygen. Oh god, yeah, this is gonna be disastrous. Woo! Yeah! What now, Frizz? <laughs> no! Ah. <laughs> Where did... Oh, it's going to the bus. <laughs> we did it! We did the thing! Yeah! Okay. So let's just confirm if it is Jupiter with us. And I was so looking forward to a bit of green cheese. Oh, wait. Biggest thing in the night sky. From Earth, that's the moon. Oh, she was on the moon all along. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's cheap. That's cheap for us. Just hanging there with Wallace and Gromit. <laughs> Let's leave her there for a while longer. Uh, <laughs> more planets I would like to look at. Let's go to Mercury. Okay. I that think, one is hot. Yeah, I think Mercury, or possibly one of the other planets, is actually the most difficult one in terms of platforming. Because I remember the gravity is so intense on it. Wow. Uh, you yeah, are can't just... even jump. <laughs> it's... Let's look at these animations. Woohoo! We need to get at least one more coin because I think she's locked up the button now that we've gone somewhere else. Oh, okay. So we need at least one more, but then we'll just go back to the moon. Yeah. Oh, that's open. That's fine. Do, 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 do. Cool, out the door we go! Oh god, it burns! <laughs> it burns! These suits are everything proof, thankfully. Pretty sure the sun would be bigger than that. I'm not sure, but... <laughs> did that sun just have two faces? Yes, it did. That's terrifying. Gosh, it's hot. Why does Mercury have to be the planet closest to the sun? Yeah, we can't win on this planet. We're frying on this side, and we'd be freezing on the other. Dance on the edge. Has anyone seen a telephone? Post office? Some place where I can read my email or pick up a fax? Arnold, are you expecting a message? Well, Mercury is named for the messenger of the gods, and I think I might be getting something from home. Arnold, get a clue. You're not a god. You're just Arnold. Ouch! That's a damning thing to say to a poor child. <laughs> I mean, to be you're fair. not a god! This is, uh, you're just. Uh, I need to brush up on my Roman gods. I'm only remembering the Greek ones. Mercury's first, the fastest planet in the solar system, circling the sun at more than 100,000 miles an hour. It's Venus second and Earth third. Go mm -hmm. Earth! Like life in the slow lane. Shut up, Arnold. <laughs> Arnold! Oh, the gravity's <laughs> pretty decent here. Yeah, it's not too bad. Into the hole we go. <laughs> oh, there was, there was pain in that. Okay. It was pain. It's just like a giant space worm comes out. Okay, let's go to the right. Ooh. Because it's the fastest planet in the solar system, all the platforms move a lot quicker. Yeah, you could have made it. Thing is, uh, oh, I see the problem. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> well, oh, no, 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 owned, owned yet again. Ah. Do these stars give us like anything at all? Give you points. Don't you want to get more points? No. <laughs> you need to points as hard as you can. I want to be off this planet. Woo! If I was doing jumping puzzles in space, I wouldn't be complaining. It's okay. more interesting than what we normally do. It's a lot of craters today. But that crater's kind of hard to fall into because it's like got this thing above it. Craters are greater. That was easy. No oxygen for you. Oh, I see it drains it to count up your final score. Ah. Well done, everyone. Do they give you any different trivia? Has anyone seen a telephone? No. Post no. Office? Okay, let's, let's go back in before Arnold Shut asks up, Arnold. the silly question. Hmm. I like how um, Arnold was tech-savvy enough to have email, though, in the time that this came out. <laughs> okay, we are keeping the coin, because why not? I'll yeah, it's sure. something. Let's just do. Hee <laughs> oh, cool. Let's see, we have more plants to visit. 
me think. Mars. There'll be Martians on Mars. Ooh, Mars sounds like a fun one. Let's go. And they'll make a chocolate joke, probably. Mm -hmm. Animation. Ooh. In space. Seriously, that is scarily quick. It's really... I don't even know how many times faster than the speed of light that was, but it was a lot. I just love this animation. It's, I mean, it's very dated looking at it. It's still really cool. Yeah. As a child, this must have been absolutely, like, amazing. It's like, whoa, how did they get videos of what it's like on these planets? <laughs> it's like, uh... Mm. With a big table and lots of tiny models. And some sand. Beautiful hand-drawn Mars. Yeah. It is quite nice. Alright. There's definitely gonna be Martians. Are you gonna rap again? Phobus and Demus are the moons of Mars. Their names mean fear and panic. <laughs> Wipeout. Oh, you are going to be delightful when you're older. Yeah. Where's the Martians? They should be around here someplace. Yeah. <laughs> Ralphie, get real. Everybody knows Mars can't support life. <laughs> Looks like they were hired by the Goblin King. Tell me, you disproved him from existence, you monster. <laughs> you know, Mars is supposed to have a volcano that's three times Everest, and as big around its base as the whole state of Missouri. How big is Missouri? Oh, wow. <laughs> that big? <laughs> that's on the other side of the planet. La, 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 la. Well, I'm sorry we didn't recognise the Mars landmarks here. Okay, you're going into detention. <laughs> Get in the volcano. <laughs> That's been a while since we've done one of the picture books. Let's see what okay. we got. Welcome to Mars Match. These pictures may look a lot alike, but they're not. One is Mars <laughs> and the other is Earth. The object here is to line up the planet with the right picture. Click on either planet to switch your positions. Then, click on OK to see how you did. Three strikes and you're out. But hey, you can always try again. Well, either of those could be on Earth. Well, I think this is vegetation, so... Oh, I suppose. Good choice. While there are she sand dunes on both Mars and Earth, those on Mars can be much higher. Can you imagine the doom buggy you'd need on Mars? Whew! Use a moon buggy. I wonder which one is Mars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the trees are our clue. <laughs> Do you always have to switch each time? Whoa, good eyesight! Mars and Earth both have craters formed by meteors. Mars has a ton of them, though, and Earth only has a few. Hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah, okay. Well, there's a lot more it. craters. Yeah, I thought that was water. I couldn't see because Earth was in the way of that crater. Got it. Both Earth and Mars have ice caps, but Martian ice caps are surrounded by canyons, dust, and rocks. Well, I think we're sufficiently educated. Oh, I wonder which one it could be. <laughs> I think this um, is the one yeah. where you don't actually have to switch it. Terrific. You can see stars from both planets, but only Mars has two moons. Okay, I think we've got the gist of Mars. Yeah. So, I think I do not fancy another platforming adventure. Yeah. Because platforms are awful, so I say we just burn through a few more planets. Okay. Because the solar system has only oh so many. What's the one next to Pluto? Next to Pluto? Which one of these two? Yeah. I think one's Neptune and one's... Neptune! That's the one I couldn't think of. Right. <laughs> 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 trying to remember the old mnemonics they give you for planets is I have no idea. It's been so long. Yeah, that is that's like millions times the speed of light. It's crazy. Look, this fizzle is magic. Maybe it just moves the universe around the ship. I think I'm gonna show you explores the human body next, that's a fun one. <laughs> The weird thing about these games is, if you kind of heard the clues before, or if you just guess lucky, yeah. you can actually beat this game in about five minutes. But that's kind of not the point. Yeah. 
So I was going to suggest we go to the moon first. Like, that would have been anticlimactic. It's like, oh, let's just call her for a joke. Oh, wait, she's actually here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, it's awesome. Wait, what are they doing? Know why we're sideways? No, but we're going to hear anyway. Well, according to my research, wow, that is a bitter child. Are unique. They rotate on their sides, not like Earth and all the other planets. Look. Hmm. With the way gravity works, would you really be leaning? I don't I think don't. so. I mean, if I knew where we were kind of on Earth relative to the rest of the solar system, I might start leaning for the fun of it. <laughs> but it's, mm. it's like all those jokes. Is how do people live in Australia? Don't they just fall off? <laughs> it's wah, like, wah, wah, wah. yeah, yeah. I guess. Is it really that strange that a planet would spin at an angle that isn't facing the sun? And it's kind of mm. anything can happen in space. Yeah, in this, space. It's kind of got this whole Superman vibe going to him. Yeah. Summer on Uranus can last twenty-one years. Just think, if you were born at the beginning of summer, you'd never have to go to school. An endless summer. And if you were born in winter, Carlos. Bummer. They pronounced it Uranus. I remember them trying I'm, to teach this that in school. That is very admirable of them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I generally like like an hour of disruption of an argument between us and the teacher. It's like, no, scientists have decided we're going to pronounce it Uranus. <laughs> but Miss, it's spelled Uranus. The way that's been also it makes it sound like urine us. Yeah. So it's there's not no, good either. There's no good way. It means it's... Rome or whoever it was that named these planets needs to step up their game oh, and think it's... about future Anglo Saxons <laughs> go back and correct <laughs> history. Miranda has the weirdest surface of any moon. It looks like this. <laughs> this is what Miranda looks like. I thought you meant Carmen Miranda. Okay, one, no child is ever going to get that joke. Yeah. Two, ukuleles are not drums. We are leaving this planet, young man. Wow. I agree with the second one. The first one, I don't know who Carmen Miranda is. Like, I feel left out. <laughs> I think we've covered just about all of them. Yeah, uh, pretty we've much. missed Venus. Did we? So let's go to that one, then okay. we'll finish with Neptune and then the moon again. Yeah. I just kind of want to see what the kids say, just in case we get anything as embarrassing as the rap. That's a fair point. I would have been sad if we'd missed the rap. <laughs> rap is the freaking worst. There's always a song. All of these games, there's always a song that just kind of needles at my skull. <laughs> Cruising down on me, sure relaxing, like feeling cool. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Octopus in the neighborhood? <laughs> please, no. <laughs> These games. Oh, your childhood is baffling to me. <laughs> My childhood is great. You didn't have one. I didn't have a home computer until I was like nine. I didn't have these games. You poor person. I know. I played that pinball game that Microsoft had, like, loads there. That's great, we should do a hundred part let's play on it. Gosh. <laughs> I score, again. Yay. Oh no, it's you. Did you know that those clouds above us are actually sulfuric acid? A deadly poison? Nobody cares, Sally! <laughs> Ow! Ooh. I just love sulfuric acid. Okay, all these kids are going to be super villains. I think we figured it out. I can believe that, and also want to see a sequel in which that's the case, and Miss Frizzle <laughs> goes around disciplining her students who've gone wayward. I mean, there's, like some of this is like Batman origin stories. It's like, oh, sulfuric acid. <laughs> <laughs> like bullying Arnold, Arnold is going to grow up to become like Pluto Man. <laughs> Just take them all down. What my whole it? life changed when I went to Mars. The kids all made fun of my rapping skills, but I showed them into the nearest volcano with them. <laughs> oh, this is great. 
I had to hijack a magic bus it's to get here that Venus is the brightest planet in the sky, but it's really cloudy down here. For the record, uh, the... Well, from uh, Earth, a Venus looks bright because the clouds block most of the sunlight and it reflects away. This is such an obnoxious child. I'm gonna write some terrible things about you on TV tropes. I love Venus. All We're gonna be reading your obituary in the Morning Star. Like Amelia Earhart and Florence Nightingale. I want to for me. No, maybe two craters. <laughs> it signifies what a pain in the ass you are. Damn it, Janet. <laughs> Introducing the hardest working planet Damn in the it. solar system. Sometimes during the year she appears as the morning star, the last star you see in the morning. And sometimes she appears as the evening star. The first star you see at night. I want that a hat. A very talented lady and a very close personal friend. Here's Venus. No. No. Oh, okay. Thank God. I thought the whole planet was going to wrap then. Huh? We're leaving. Be gone from my surface, Earthlings. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm looking forward to seeing the other ones, considering this is like the first one in the series, and oh, I think yeah. it got weirder from here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably had more Miss Frizzle in it. I mean, <laughs> well, Miss Frizzle is, is genuinely missing in this one. On purpose. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I remember going on school field trips and our teacher would just simply vanish for a while. It's just like, oh yeah, just be back here around this time or whatever. Yep, stay in your groups. Yeah, it's... don't jump in the lion cage. <sighs> whatever. Just do have a bar. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Okay, Neptune it is. Time for more fantastic animation. Got a hyperspace effect. Oof. Another Miss Frizzle and Doctor Who crossover. That'd be great. That'd be so cool. Did we just crash. Miss Frizzle looks a little bit like River Song. Oh. Interesting. Maybe she's the inspiration. It would explain. As in she went back in time. It would explain the rest so much if this was a TARDIS. <laughs> like, so much. Well, yeah, it's, I think it's bigger on the inside. <laughs> that door was not there when she picked the kids up. <laughs> like... Ooh, okay. Janet, get off my planet. Ooh, rocks from Trident, Neptune's biggest moon, I've got to have some. Who gave her a pickaxe? Come on. Didn't anybody tell me about the ice volcanoes? Boy, are we a long way from home. Who's that? Yeah, according to my research, if we got on the sea. <laughs> Who's that? He hasn't been here before. <laughs> I think he was on Mars. I jacket. And that's without a single bathroom break. <laughs> So Can you weird... just say light needs a bathroom break? Without, I think you said without a single bathroom break. A weird quirk I've got of the emulator I'm using is because I think it's running a lot quicker than a lot of things. It sometimes the dialogue just finishes early, mm. but I can't go back and find myself an old computer from like 1995 and test my theory. Yeah. Look at that great dark spot. It's not that big. Are you kidding? That spot's six thousand miles long. It's a giant storm that moves as fast as 700 miles per hour. What do you mean? It's only ketchup from one. I love Liz's face. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. It's like, We're almost done. I want to know these kids' names so I can properly berate them. These ridges on Triton look really I'm going to learn them for the next one. They? Good plan. Yeah, this whole moon looks like a big cantaloupe. Oh, Triton, if we can't elope, let us marry. <sighs> we need to teach him a pair. <laughs> what the crap was that? I'm just going to pretend that didn't happen because <laughs> oh, that was amazing. I can't properly express my rage. <laughs> That's the sweetest thing. When I grow up, I'm going to marry Triton. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to do, Ralphie? When I grow up, I want to marry a moon. <laughs> you mean the moon? No, a moon. A specific moon. Any old moon will do. He's not fussy. Okay, let's go to... Yes, let's go to the moon. 
So just yeah. That. Find ones. the frizz. Okay, let's try. Well, going children, here. I see you've decided where I am through trial and error. I kind of want to put this in just to see what she says in the way of no more clues. <laughs> Took oh, your money, it's, children. It's swallowed our coin. I hate these machines. Oh, maybe we can get it out. The, no, I've lost so much money in nineties vending machines. Fire missiles! <laughs> the winner is you, Sam. You should say you took a chance and won. No, we knew where you were. Wasn't that an adventure class? Let's go back to the classroom. It would be if we could actually explore the moon. Okay, I've just realized a massive plot hole. Wouldn't you want to, like, write up your reports about this after visiting the planets? <laughs> yeah, they did all the research, and then it's like, as a reward. We're going to go and actually see them. <laughs> then again, I have had like things where it's like we're going to research this before we go there. Yeah, and then, and then I think zoo trips and stuff. Yeah, we learn about primates and penguins. And we also had to write it up afterwards. Mm. Anyway, that's uh, that's the magic school bus explores the solar system. <laughs> Overall thoughts. I'm going to do background checks on all these children, <laughs> and they shall not escape my eye the next time. But yeah, I can see why this would be a popular series. It's fun, it's stupid, it's... I actually learned something. There were so. like... I think there were eight games if Wikipedia wow. was trustworthy earlier. Sweet. And I owned six of them. So... <laughs> cool. We are good to go. Anyway, see you next time, where we're going to go and take a look at the Magic School Bus Explores the Human Body. Till mm -hmm. next time.